My uh, next guest this evening has appeared in numerous films, including Boogie Nights and The Thin Red Line. Currently, you can see him in the critically acclaimed film, Magnolia. Let's take a look. Door was open, ma'am. Yeah, I got a call. You're not allowed to just calm come down. in. Calm I down. Calm down. Okay, I got a call to this apartment. Report of a disturbance. There's no disturbance. Okay, I got a call of a disturbance. Your door was open, and I just want to see what's yeah, going on. Yeah, but there's no disturbance. Okay, well then you got nothing to worry about. You don't tell me. I know my rights. Just come right in. You can't okay. just... Uh, uh, ma'am, you want to test me? All right? You want to tell me about the law book? We can do that. You push me far enough, I will take you to jail. First off, uh, congratulations. Thank this is you. This exciting. People love Magnolia. Yeah, I'm really proud of the movie. Thanks. Yeah, this is very cool. And you, as we saw in the clip, you play a, a policeman. Right, LAPD officer, right. And you did kind of an interesting thing, which is, you know, to study or prepare, I understand that you watch the TV show Cops. Well, is that right? Yeah, it was, that's sort of the story. Like, uh, Partially. Like yeah, you, years before we even, Paul even wrote the script for Magnolia, it was uh, before we'd even done Boogie Nights, actually, we were obsessed with that show. It was when it first had come out, and we were just obsessed with it's it. It's a riveting show. They're always the guys with no shirts being yeah, taken away in handcuffs. And we thought it was hilarious, you know, needless to say, but... Uh, so during that time, Paul and I were in this weird period where we weren't working, and I grew this mustache just out of this weird fascination with mustaches. And he took one look at it <laughs> and was like, we've got to do our version of Cops. We have to do our version of Cops. Mm -hmm. I'm getting a uniform. Come over here right now. So I, I went over there, and he got a costume friend to get us a uniform, and he started following me uh, around with the camera, like driving, and I would do, like, you know, my best version of Cops. Like, Apparently, uh, we get a lot of gangbangers in Syria <laughs> like to drink their 40s, so uh, we're going to take a look. <laughs> so, so uh, you know, we did that for a while, just, right, you know, right. basically it was just to make each other laugh. And then sure. eventually we got bored with that, with just me, so we decided we have to get other people involved, and we were afraid of getting arrested, so we decided to get our friends involved. Right. So Paul would call someone on the cell phone and say, like, like Jennifer Jason Lee did one, and Philip Seymour so, Hoffman did one. So your friends who are, who are actors, you'd right. call them up. But even like regular people too. Right. So, so we'd call up, like, <laughs> we'd call up Phil and say, uh, Phil, you know, it's Paul, we're on our way over there. You know, someone called the cops because you were throwing rocks at your neighbor's dog. You know, when he'd go, what? What are you talking about? It's Paul and John, we'll be there in 10 minutes. What? Uh, uh, click. And, uh, you know, he'd follow me over there. Apparently this individual wants to be throwing rocks at dogs. <laughs> So I'm going to take a look and see what's up. And he'd follow me all the way over there, and I'd get out, and he'd follow me, you know, like just like they do on the show, and I'd knock on the door, and Phil would answer, and then we'd just go into this improvisation. And it inevitably would end up with me, like, stumbling over fences and falling You're down. Wait, he'd really run away, and you'd really chase him? Oh, my God, through, like, neighborhoods all over the valley. We were, we were like, one step ahead of the actual police, like, every time no, we did no, it. Now, I would think, because it's a serious thing when you put on an LAPD yeah. uniform or a policeman's uniform, you never, like, got into any kind of trouble or it never got weird? Well, uh, one time, we took a little break one time, actually, from, you know, this grueling schedule that we had. And of goofing around. Of goofing around, yeah. yeah. While we weren't working, and I had a mustache. Anyway. We stopped at this place, uh, Eat a Pita, in Los Angeles to get a sandwich, and we're sitting there. I'm in full uniform, and Paul's sitting there with me. It was the exact uniform, except for the gun at that point, right. thank God. And uh, this, this skirmish breaks out between this kind of wandering man who looked homeless and the owner of the restaurant. And, uh, right. So there was some dis you know, discrepancy. And then a you know, someone threw a drink, it smashed on the ground, and then all of a sudden this old man who owned the place is being tackled by this homeless guy, smashing him into a garbage can and stuff spraying all over. And I'm like, oh, like my falafel sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Must protect the falafel. <laughs> And as the, you know, people started to notice, you know, they, all of a sudden they realized, like, well, this is getting bad. Like, there's a policeman right there. Arrest him! And they start screaming to me, arrest him! And I just had this totally, like, sad, humiliating, <laughs> impotent moment where I was like, I ain't not a police. I, <laughs> I just dress up like police. I just dress up. Yeah. 
<laughs> and then we, we quickly got out of there, but Pop was filming the whole thing, meanwhile. <laughs> he videotaped the entire skirmish. And then I got into the car, and of course we turned it right into the, the next piece of our thing. Like, apparently, uh, people think this is just, uh, you know, 12 hour job. So. <laughs> I'm eating my lunch. Some individuals decide to get into a skirmish. I've got to handle it. So, I we just, had a lot oh, of fun with that. Oh, man. I wish I was. You guys sound like it'd be fun to hang out with. And Paul, of course, is... Paul Thomas Anderson, Paul, who wrote and directed uh, all three, uh, Hard Eight, Boogie Nights, and now Boogie Magnolia. Nights. Yeah. yeah, well, the great movies, seriously. And uh, Magnolia. Magnolia's in theaters now. True West is on Broadway next well, month yeah it opens march 2nd philip seymour hoffman and i actually from magnolia are going to do true west uh, yeah and he's actually right now he's in uh, talented mr ripley another right great actor. Uh, he's like phil's everywhere he's on right. fire yeah right very cool hey thanks so much for coming My pleasure, by Connor. yeah congratulations very funny john c Riley, everybody we'll be right back hank williams the third gonna be here